Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and today we're talking about SharePoint, which we often do, and we are going to talk about this error message that we're getting here. Sorry, something went wrong. <clears throat> so basically, um, a new site was created and um, copied over from an old site, and when it was copied over to the old site, when I go to the initial um, website address, which is actually right here, not necessarily default, oops. Uh, still gotta come up with the same thing. All right, so that's the address that I wanna have. And uh, this is the old site. So I basically wanted it copied over. So in this particular situation, another entity, another department had to create the site. I had to put the request in to get the URL created. And then the stuff was copied over. Also uh, request sometimes um, I'll copy the stuff over depending, but because I don't have admin rights, uh, another department um, does it if I want the metadata to um, copy over, and that's a whole other discussion anyways. <clears throat> so let's just focus on this uh, particular issue. So we want to get this, sorry, uh, something went wrong the heck out of there. So um, what I have here is I'm going to put this down in the description. This is what you'll use um, to get to your site. So you're going to grab that, and usually what I do is just put it in a notepad. And here, let me just grab it just to show you, just so it, there's no formatting or anything. It's just easier for me to do. All right, this is where you want to put the site name. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go back to here and I'm going to grab the site name, which is right here. So just at the ending, the site is going to be called. And you're just going to replace uh, what I have down in the description that says site name in parentheses and just paste that there. So I'm going to copy, and I'm going to bring it back to my browser, and I'll open up a new tab, paste it in there. All right, so that sends me to the contents. So if we go to site pages, go down where it says site pages. Uh, okay, we're going to see this, and then we can look at that. So, um, it's not set as any type of home page or anything. Uh, but that's what it comes up as. So we kind of have to look at this because it was a uh, copy of an old classic site. So I'm going to show you a couple things and hopefully not confusing, confuse you, but learn you at the same time. So there are, if you look down, there's going to be, uh, there's going to be this page folder. And that was actually created today, actually. And there's this other oh, created today too. And there's site pages. So this is kind of the old deal. Um, so you can go in here and actually let me go back. Uh, I mean, you can go in here to this folder that says pages. If it copied over, you can create a new page. So we'll do this really, really quickly. Should pop up again. But this is how you used to create pages uh, in the old style. We'll just leave it as body only. Myself, um, and we're just going to create that. Okay, and then what you have is the new page. But if you open it up, it's going to be in the classic style. So you can do this. You can try to do this, but. Um, and maybe you want to do this anyways. And again, I'm not trying to confuse you at all. I just want to show you in case you come up against this, right? Um, so we want to go back to contents. And what you can do is go to that pages folder again, and you can go into settings. Um, you want to go to advanced settings. Advanced settings, yeah. Allow management type. All right, so what we want to do is make sure this is on the new experience. It should actually be a default experience, but we did set up the, that page that we just set up under the new experience. You can see that it's already been done. I'm going to put the default. I'm going to put OK because it's a new page. It's on it's on 360, It's on on Microsoft 365 SharePoint. It's on the cloud. Um, it should already default to the new um, the new the newer um, communication pages and group pages. So. We'll go back to we'll go back to pages. Now, if you look here, there's no way to 
you can you can publish this. You can go here and check in, and we can publish. That's not a problem. Uh, you can just publish. But there's nowhere to make this a main page. So you're just going to have, you've got the page created, and it does say home, and this is what it's going to be. That's the URL. It will work just fine in a classic site, but we don't want classic, do we? But if we go here, same error message. All right, so if I haven't totally confused you, let's close this crap out. Uh, we'll keep that open. So we'll go back here. And we'll go back to contents. So what we're really looking for, because it's a classic site, is or it's not a classic site. It's not a classic site. It's a modern site. Um, you want to go to site pages. So you can kind of do the same thing here, too. You can go to settings. You can go to advanced settings. Just make sure. Um, and I got to fart around with any of that stuff. It's at default. So I'm not going to change any of this stuff. I just wanted to show you you can do that. And then we'll just go back to site pages. All right, so here's the site pages folder. So let me do that again, just not to confuse again. So this is what transferred over uh, from the old site, and this is what is created for the new site collection. All right, so we're going to say pages. Now, as you can see, there's a home page that was created. Um, it was created automatically when the site was created. It just does it when you create a new site in SharePoint. SharePoint does it automatically on the back end. So, um, so if we go here, and you can see right here, right, site, site pages, home. And this is a communication site, which I want. That's what I want to create for um, these folks. So what I'm going to do is go here, and then here you have the option to make a home page. So we want this home and make it the home page. And this page is now saying that. So if we go back to the error, just refresh, refresh, should come up as the main page. There we go. And that's what we want. I don't want anything on the end of this. I just want this, right? I don't want this. <laughs> it just looks, it's it just looks crappy to me as a you know person who's deals with websites and uh, I just want it clean like that. So that is basically it. And then you can go in and um, you got your new sites and you can go in and add it to your hub, which I already did. But if you go in, you can change the look of it. Um, so usually what I do here, this is just kind of bonus stuff. I already showed you what I wanted to show you in this video, uh, but we'll add, okay, we'll add the footer. So if we add a footer here, I'm going to save. And if we go down, there's my footer. That's not the footer I want. That's not right. It should be clear. But anyways, that's how you add a footer. I'll have to fix that. I'm not sure I did that. All right, we'll change the look again. The header, I don't want that crappy, whatever the hell that is, is the header. So we want to change that. That's that right there. Oh, there's the real footer right there. Okay, I put the wrong footer in. We'll fix that. All right, there's the site logo thumbnail. There's the site logo. Let me see if I got to do both or not. Let me change the look again just to look. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want that. Let's so change that as well. All right, nice little VA symbol. Looks all lovely. All right, let's go into another example here. Here's a different one. And we're going to do once again, here is, if we refresh, I'll just show you here. Got the error, the same error as before. And we're just going to grab this and bring this over here. Yeah, yeah, this stuff. And we'll just plop that right in there. So we will grab this, we'll open up a new tab. Okay. And then here's the original. Let's see, you can see that that's in the classic site. So if we go in here, it tries to go there, but no. It's a little different scenario though. This is uh, the last one was a group to a communication site. 
Uh, this one's a group site to a group site. So here's our site pages. And because it's not a communication site, you're not going to see anything else on there. So we're going to go here. So if we hit the, um, this one, here's, here's what's going to happen. OK, it's in classic too. Ugh. So really what we can do on this one is we can make home page. But before we do that, let's go back and just make sure it's in the classic. Um, let's just go to settings and make sure it's in the classic. Um, so you want match files, no check conversion, version advanced settings. And it's in the default experience. So let's see what happens when we make it the home page before we even fart around with this stuff. So let's go back. Let's just go site pages. And let's just make this baby home page, make home page. Okay, so if we refresh in an ideal world, ladies and gentlemen, this should come up. All right, still comes up as this crappy peppy stuff. So I do not want that. So we are going to go back. And you got to fill with this stuff. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back again. Sorry about that. So I want to go to <clears throat> site pages. I want to go back to settings. I'm going to my advanced settings. I'm going to do experience. I'm going to do OK. I'm going to up it. No, it should, um, and it didn't. So that's all a bunch of B. So let's do this. Let's go in here. Let's do new. Site page. And we're just going to do test. Yeah, we're just going to publish that sucker. OK, go back to contents. And I am just going to um, go in here and make the home page, make it a home page, the test page for now. OK. And make home page. And we'll just hit that. All right, and then we'll just go back and hit this. The only thing is, I don't want that crap. I don't want this site page test APX crap. I did spend um, over an hour trying to determine how to get rid of. Um, here, let me go here. There's the new test page that I did. Just go here. So just trying to get rid of this site pages test as as the new home page as you knew make a new home page, and um, I just want it to be this when you go to the home page without any of the extras. I mean, it will go to. The, the, the home page. Um, I just didn't want that extra stuff. So I went into my admin tool, my personal um, 365 account, and, and see if I could figure it out. And I didn't see any way to do it. So if you happen to know how to do it, um, let me know in the comments. I mean, it's not a big deal. It goes to the, where I want it to go. I just well, mean all about things, I guess. All right. So this is, um, this is this particular tutorial. I'm actually going to kind of make the same tutorial, but I'm going to show how to get rid of this stuff, this titling and stuff like that. Uh, work around for that. I'm going to make that as a separate video. So I wanted to, I was going to put them all into one. And I'm going to split them up into two. So this is it for this one. I appreciate you as always. If you could share or subscribe, 
share, like, hit the bell, same stuff I say at the end of every video, I would appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to go immediately into the next video and post that one. See you soon.